All right, boys, it's my turn to play. You ready to watch me take on the Vermilion City, Jim? Yeah, I'm ready for it. I'm confident in our team, and I think that Nido King can handle the gym with relative ease, to be honest. What about you, Donald? I'm scared, boys, this whole time. Barack has been the one taking on gyms, but I don't know if Joe's brain is capable of taking on a gym. Ah! Uh... Okay, calm down, Donald. How bad can Joe do? Don't you believe in our team? Seriously, Donald, how bad can it be? We've already seen Barack's piss-poor performance against Go Misty, to hell. so don't worry. Okay, you know what, Joe, you're right. I'll give you your credit since you trained our team up well. Go kill it, Joe. Seriously? Joe's right because he said that it can't be worse than mine's? Seriously? I literally had to go up against Misty. Joe has a huge advantage in this gym with Nido King. That's a ridiculous comparison. Don't cry about it, Barack. It's just the facts. Okay, 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 okay. It's time for the gym, boys. I gotta concentrate. Joe, just worry about the trash can puzzle later. Just take on the trainers. All right, I got you, Donald. I'm very curious to see how this goes. No need to be curious, Barack. Papa Joe will do his thing. To be honest, Barack, it kind of sounds like you want Joe to fail, so your struggle fest of a battle against Misty doesn't look as bad. Like hell, I want that. I want Joe to be okay. But Joe, why are you Jesus leaving Christ. off of Charmeleon and not Nido King? Holy hell, it's just a gym trainer. Don't tell me how to play right now. I'm just trying to train up the rest of the team. Screw that, Joe. Don't give us heart palpitations like Barack did. Just switch into Nido King and let him cook. I can't believe I'm being told what to do right now. You guys say you respect my contributions to the team, but you still treat me like I'm a goddamn toddler playing this game. In all fairness, Joe, your brain is our main concern. We don't think it's capable of staying intact for long. Don't worry, though. We'll help you for this battle against Pikachu. Shut the hell up, Barack. I don't need your help. I can do this all by myself. I'm tired of your passive-aggressive shots at me. You're the one who's been the liability on our team, so don't act all high and mighty now by saying you can help me. While I agree with you, Joe, we all have to be on the same page, right, boys? Joe, you got this. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Seriously, Donald, you were the one who was scared at the beginning. Don't make me the bad guy here. Okay, let's chill out. Watch, I'm gonna take care of this stupid Voltorb with our goaded Pokemon in King Dawn. Yeah, for real, Barack, just listen to Joe here and stop trying to start an argument out of nothing. All right, fine. If you guys don't want my help, then let's see how Joe does then. Yeah, I think I'm doing okay, Barack. I already told you before that you can trust me. Do you not see Nido King whooping everyone left and right? For real? That's exactly what he'll do for the gym leader, too. Facts. Okay, let me rephrase this then. I don't trust you, Joe. I trust our Nido King. I mean, it literally counters every single damn Pokemon in this gym. Voltorb, Magnemite, Pikachu, so what, Barack? It's called maximizing the potential from our party. Donald picked an amazing Pokemon in Nidoking, and it's time we show appreciation to him for that. Good one, Donald. Thanks, Joe. I didn't think I'd get noticed for it, but I appreciate you noticing. What about you, Barack? I mean, what do you want me to say? Thanks for picking a Pokemon with overpowered stats and overpowered coverage. Thanks, Donald. Don't worry about Barack Donald. He's just a hater. Instead, you can just watch Nidoking tear Pikachu a new one. Don't worry, Joe, I'm not going to react. We got a preview of this hating ass Barack from playing Overwatch with him, so don't worry. We know what to expect this time. Labeling me incorrectly, Donald. Of course, this isn't a first time thing. Whatever, Joe. How far do you plan on progressing today? My plan is to defeat this gym, and then I plan on heading towards Rock Tunnel since there's a bunch of trainers on the way there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you sure your brain can handle that much in one day, Joe? Piss off, Barack. You know what, Joe? I believe in you. If you think you can do it like how you said you can do this, Jim, without our assistance, then I believe you. Thanks for that, Donald. I'll try my best, boys. I'm going to use the Pokemon Center real quick, if you don't mind. Do you have to be so against Joe every time, Barack? What's your problem? What the hell are you talking about, Donald? I'm just looking out for him, that's all. Like hell you are. That's just a sorry-ass excuse for you being messed up to Joe. Just admit it. All right, boys, let's not argue. Excuse? We'll see how Joe's brain is by the time he's done with the trash can puzzle in the gym. Sorry, I mean the Donald Trump puzzle in this gym. Never mind then. How dare you call that the Donald Trump puzzle? Based on our gameplays, that should be called the Barack Obama puzzle then. Like hell it should be. You blame me for struggling against Misty, but you even admitted that Starmie encounters our entire team. What the hell have you done this entire time? I've done plenty more than you believe me. 
Oh, look, there's only Donald Trump here. That's what it said. Nope, 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 nope. It says there's only Barack Obama here. Believe me. Can you read, dumbass? It literally says there's only Donald Trump here. Fuck you, Barack. It says there's only Barack Obama in here. Okay, both of you guys, shut the fuck up. I'm tired of hearing you two fucking bicker. You two sound like my goddamn parents arguing when my dad forgot to bring the milk from the fucking grocery store and my mom got on his ass for that. What happened to being supportive of your fucking team, huh? I'm about to face a gym leader and all you two care about is trying to make a point as to why you haven't fucked up more than the other during our Pokemon Fire Red Run. Grow a fucking pair. Damn. Damn. Damn is right, boys. Now stop fucking arguing, okay? Treat me like an equal, not like your fucking baby. Can you two promise me that? Definitely, Joe. I'm sorry if I ever made you feel that way, but you definitely are an equal. You trained our team up very well and there should be no reason to doubt you. What do you say, Barack? All right, fine, I agree with that, Donald. I'm sorry for downplaying your achievements, Joe. I know I wanted to make sure you were doing okay. But I also have to admit that I may have been a bit jealous from watching you cook while I completely shit the bed during our playthrough so far. Listen up, boys, the past is in the past. And guess what? We still have so much of the game left to play. Shit fucking happens, okay? As long as we become Pokemon masters, that's all that matters. Preach that shit, Joe, but holy fuck, can we get past this bullshit puzzle already? For real. Fuck Let's fucking yes. go. Well, 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 perfect fucking timing, boys. Who's ready to get the next gym badge? Are you with me, boys? We are both with you, Joe. Kick his ass, Joe, we know you can do it. Yeah, for real, Joe. Even though gym leaders make me fucking anxious, we know you're going to kick his ass and tear him a new one. All good, boys. I'm leading off with Charmeleon here since Nido King isn't needed yet. Sounds good, Joe. What's your overall strategy for this battle? If memory serves correctly, he has a Pikachu and a Raichu after this. I'm going to try taking care of Pikachu without Nido King so we don't have to deal with paralysis. And then I'm going to hope for a one-shot kill with Nido King's dig on Raichu. What do you think, boys? Sounds like a solid idea, Joe. Good shit for defeating the Voltorb. On to the annoying-ass Pikachu. You're not wrong about it being annoying. All it does is fucking spam Thunder Wave and Double Team. Good shit, Joe, for realizing that ahead of time and not having Nido King paralyzed or anything going into the main battle. Fuck, I forgot to buy Paralysis Heal. It's okay, I'll just take care of this fucking Pikachu without it. Holy shit, but you got them to use their Super Potion on Pikachu instead of their Ace. You got Fuck this yes. shit in the bag, Joe. Definitely Donald. Good thing we one hit KO that fucking Pikachu. Onto the Raichu now. I wonder though if you'll be able to land a dig off right away because Raichu will get two double teams off by the time you're attacking it. Honestly, Barack, I don't think it outspeeds us. We're a higher level. What the hell? Let's fucking go. That one double team better not cheese us out of landing a hit on it. That's the annoying part. I guess we'll see, right, boys? The moment of truth, boys. Fuck yes, let's go. Oh, That's what I'm let's talking fucking about. Go. One shot, bitch. Let's fucking Fuck go. you, rate you, and everything you stand for. Facts. King Don all the way. Facts. Another gym badge in the books. Facts. One step closer to becoming Pokemon champs. Facts. Jesus fucking Christ, Joe. Good shit. You demolished this gym from start to finish. How are you feeling right now? It feels amazing, I'm not going to lie. It's cool and all defeating trainers. But defeating gym leaders is just a super satisfying feeling, regardless of how you defeat them. I definitely know what you mean, Joe. I'm hoping Donald will get a chance soon to take on a gym since it's only fair. Yeah, I guess we'll see about that. To be honest though, I can see Donald facing a gym really soon. It really depends on how much we progress each time we play. That being said, Donald will definitely get his chance to take on a gym. Yeah, I definitely hope so, Joe. By the way, you're still going to progress all the way up to the entrance of the rock tunnel, right? Yeah, that is the plan so far. By the way, Barack, have you decided yet on Snorlax or Executor yet? Holy shit, Joe, good fucking question. I actually forgot about that. What's it going to be, Barack? If I'm being honest, guys, I haven't decided yet. They're both really good Pokemon and fill in a lot of needs for our team. Just give me some more time since we won't be encountering either of those Pokemon until later, if that's okay with you two. Yeah, that's fine with me, Barack. What about you, Joe? That's fine with me, too. If it means making the most informed decision, take all the time you need, besides, We'll be getting two Pokemon to add to our party soon.
That will be good since I was getting kind of bored with just our three Pokemon. For real. By the way, Joe, how are you going to train up our team for the rest of your time playing? Well, we have a fully evolved Pokemon in Nidoking, a second evolution in Charmeleon. I think it's only right to train up Mankey so it can have its evolution. Oh, it's God. It's time to unleash Primeape what to really fuck? show the world what it's exactly capable of. What are your thoughts? I'm all good for that idea, Joe. But what the fuck was that, Barack? I thought you said you wouldn't bust a fucking nut when experiencing or talking about Mankey's evolution. I don't know what to say or think, guys. Just like how Donald experienced Nidoran's evolution and how Joe experienced Charmander's evolution. I fucking Jesus get it now. Christ. God, I'm feeling so many fucking feelings just thinking about Mankey's evolution. So, um, do you think I should still train up Mankey Donald? God damn it, Joe. Yes, you should train up Mankey. You have to evolve it at some point. So don't think you can just avoid training it to not hear my reaction. I deserve this evolution. Prime Ape is just a fucking beast. Yeah, Joe, I think at this point you have to train up Mankey. I don't want it to feel like that Mankey was just our counter to Brock's bitch ass. I want to implement him more in our battles. Sounds good. I'll switch him to the front then. By the way, I think the aerial ace TM is here if memory serves correctly. So I was thinking about teaching it to Mankey for more coverage. What do you guys think? Perfect fucking idea, Joe. Oh, God. Okay, 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 okay. Barack, chill the hell out. And Joe, it's a pretty good idea. Mankey already has Brick Break and Rock Tomb, so adding Aerial Ace will make it extremely diverse. Definitely, I'm going to delete Seismic Toss since we already have two other fighting moves. Honestly, Joe, I'm surprised you didn't teach it to Charmeleon considering how hard you get over it. Yeah, for Besides, real. Mankey's move set is probably better than Charmeleon's with or without Aerial Ace. While I may bust a fat one over Charmeleon, I try Jesus. to look at this objectively. Teaching a flying move like Aerial Ace won't cover much for Charmeleon since fire already does the trick against grass and bug. Besides, I'm sure we'll be teaching fly to Charizard when the time comes. Holy shit, Joe, your analysis is on point right now. That's for fucking sure. Yeah, for real. And oh, would you look at that. Aerial Ace is already coming in handy here. Yeah, that's definitely convenient, considering how many trainers there are on this route. We should be able to evolve Mankey by the end of it. Our team is slowly coming together, guys. It's definitely exciting. And like you guys said, we'll be adding two more Pokemon to our party real soon. I'm curious as to what you two picked for our party. I definitely think you'll like it, Donald. It's just a super satisfying feeling seeing all of our progress and hard work pay off by evolving and adding more Pokemon to the team. Yeah, for real. Speaking of our team, I think we should teach Nidoking some TMs like Thunderbolt, Earthquake, and or Surf. Since we missed out on Thrash, I think it's the move to make. I 100% agree with that, but make sure you have Nidoking learn Megahorn. Do whatever you feel is right. But Jesus Christ, guys, look at fucking Mankey. It's just going to demolish everything with its insane type coverage. It's good against Steel, Rock, Bug, Grass, Fighting, Flying, and Ice with its moveset. Good shit, boys. It's crazy how one Pokemon can cover that much. The same will be said about Nidoking as well. What level does Mankey evolve again? Level 28. Oh, God! Okay, Barack, we get it. You love Mankey? Look at this fucking idiot. Level 21 Charmander, seriously? Honestly, I never knew why trainers don't evolve their Pokemon. It would give us more of a challenge for sure. Yeah, for real, by the way, guys. Now that we have three out of the eight gym badges, I've been wondering how deep we'll go into this game. Obviously, we're going to complete the Elite Four, but are we going to do the post-game stuff like catching legendaries and doing a rematch of the Elite Four? I don't know why we wouldn't. It really just depends on what you guys want. But speaking of trainers evolving their Pokemon, here we go. Sounds good, Joe. What do you think, Donald? Does it matter to you how far we go in the post-game? Yes, yeah, same here. I'm not opposed to it. And thank God for this trainer having two fully evolved Pokemon. I'm just tired of going up against fucking Geodudes, Weedles, and Caterpies. It's time for some variety. Speaking of variety, we'll be having more of that when Mankey levels up one more time. Oh yeah, you're right. I don't know why I forgot about that, even though you said it'd evolve at level 28. So you're stopping right before the rock tunnel then, right, Joe? Yeah, that's the plan. Rock Tunnel is way too long and I don't want to hog all the gaming. I figured Barack could do the Rock Tunnel if he's okay with that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. The Rock Tunnel is fucking annoying though without Flash and we don't have that. Are you sure we'll be okay? 
I think we'll be okay without it. If you need any help, Barack, Joe and I can guide you through it. And oh, look what a surprise, a fucking Geo dude. Honestly speaking, boys, I get the feeling that our Pokemon are a bit overpowered because of the fact that we only have three Pokemon in our party when I feel that we should have more at this point. I get what you mean, Joe, but there's nothing that we can do about that. Lepras and Snorlax or Exeggutor are later in the game, and same with the mystery Pokemon that we decided we'll be okay, though, since we'll have to train those up. We'll be fine. Would you look at that, though? Mankey is so close to evolving. Yeah, just one more battle should level this thing up. I'm getting super excited for that. But holy shit, I forget sometimes how many trainers there are right before the rock tunnel. It's not like we'll need all the experience like goddamn. We might not need all the experience right now, Barack, but I'm sure we'll somehow be underleveled for the Elite Four, so we'll definitely need this if you look at the big picture. We also need some fucking money too if we're going to buy hyper potions and revives for the Elite Four. That's true, but holy shit, I'm tired of these fucking Caterpie. I'm surprised that there's a good amount of bug trainers this late into the game. It is what it is. I think this is the first time we're seeing a Venonaut in this game so far. Honestly, I wouldn't be opposed to adding Venomoth into the team. That would be a solid addition. Yeah, it wouldn't be, but that thing is near fucking impossible to catch in the Safari Zone like holy shit. Look out, boys. There's a fucking Weedle. Holy shit, we need to be careful now. Ha 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 ha. By the way, Barack, Mankey will be evolving after this battle if you didn't catch it. Oh, fuck, I didn't see that. Oh, God. Yeah. <sighs> Can't wait. Mankey was such a fucking beast, and Prime Ape will be more of a beast. Oh, fucking God. God damn it, Donald. Why did you have to spoil the surprise like that? Oh, fuck. Fuck. Us. Yes. Mankey. Mankey is growing up. My feelings are all over the place. Prime Ape is coming right now. Jesus, I'm so excited. God damn. Was that all Barack? Do you have any more fucking feelings? Look at the fucking Prime Ape, you guys. <laughs> It's just so fucking amazing. Our team is looking amazing right now. <laughs> I'm so excited for what Primeape can do. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh God. Ow. Prime. Holy fucking shit, Barack. Are you fucking done busting a fat one or what? I might need some fucking surgery for my ears after that one. Is someone saying something? I can't hear anything. Come on, you two. You two had a reaction when your favorite Pokemon evolved. It's only fair that I had mine. You literally made Joe go deaf. Holy fucking shit, how is he going to listen to us now? Okay, I'm okay, guys. My ears are fine now. I might have to get surgery, but at the end of the day, this is all for Pokemon, right, boys? Hell yeah, Joe. Good to know that your ears are doing better now. I don't even think I want to respond to your guys' bullshit. Joe, just hurry up and finish these fucking trainers off. Don't worry, Donald. I will do just that. Just wait until Charmeleon evolves. You haven't heard anything yet. To be honest, Joe, I don't think I want to hear anymore. Let's just focus on the game. I think Joe's almost done with the trainers. Joe, why aren't you sending out Primate? I want to see that beautiful creature. Seriously, Barack, I trained it up to level 28. The rest of our team is underleveled compared to it. Can you just chill out and let our other Pokemon have their moments? Yeah, for real, Barack, haven't we heard enough out of your ass for today? Okay, chill the fuck out. I'm not asking you to train up Primeape. I just want it sent out for one battle. That's all. Okay, fine. Let's negotiate this then, Barack. I will send out Primeape for one battle. Okay, deal. Hold on. Only if you promise not to act weird and mess up our ears again. Fine. I just want Primeape out there for one battle, so I accept. All righty then. I will send out Primeape when the time is right. Just wait till then, okay? Should I grab some fucking earplugs? No, you're fine, Donald. Barack promised, so we'll be okay. Okay, fine, I'll trust him. By the way, does it not annoy you, Joe, that your favorite starter only has Ember at this point? It's level 27, for fuck's sake. Yeah, it kind of does, to be honest. But if memory serves correctly, then I think it will learn Flamethrower sometime soon. And when it does, it will become a fucking monster, that's for sure. Joe, what the fuck are you doing? Run away from this battle, damn it. Okay, shut the fuck up. You got me so fucked up that it's hard to think right now. Thank fucking God I'm almost done with these trainers. Okay, look, there's a dude with a bunch of rock Pokemon. Here's your golden chance to send out Primate. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm just trying to get Charmeleon as much XP as possible, so just wait a damn minute. Joe, you better be careful. I know the Geo dude is underleveled, but it can kill Charmeleon in one hit. 
Yeah, but only if it gets critted, though, if I'm not mistaken. I think we'll be okay. Just two metal claws and we'll be fine. I guess we'll see about that. Jesus what the fuck? fucking Christ, Joe, what did I say? Well, I guess it's time for Primate. That's some fucking bullshit, and we all know that. Fuck Geodude and its trash-ass evolution line. Who the fuck owns a Geodude? Guys, Primate looks like a fucking beast and is a fucking beast. I'm so glad we have it on our team. Okay then, Barack, is that all you want to say? Are you sure you don't want to destroy our ears again? Listen up, you two. I'm oh, sorry God. for my reaction. I just got super excited for Mankey's evolution, and I didn't mean it to hurt your guys' ears that much. Will you two forgive me? I will forgive you, Barack, because I didn't have a normal reaction to Charmander's evolution, so it would be extremely hypocritical of me to not forgive you. What about you, Donald? Same here. I can't say that I had a normal reaction either to Nidoran's evolution. At the end of the day, we're just excited from our favorite Pokemon's evolution. Look at the big picture, boys. Our team is looking nice. Definitely. I guess for the remainder of the battles, I will train up Naidu King since Charmeleon fainted through some bullshit. I'm fine with that, Joe. I'm just glad I got to see Primate pop off against some Pokemon. It really just shows what's to come for future battles. This is the final trainer, I think. We haven't seen a Meowth yet. I believe so. This has to be the last trainer on this route for now before the Pokemon Center. It's actually okay that Charmeleon fainted since it's not missing out on much XP. Yeah, I guess that's true. Good shit for remembering that, Donald. That makes me feel a bit better for losing Charmeleon like that. No problem, Joe. You said you're going to stop here, right? You would be correct. I'm going to let Barack handle the rock tunnel, so I'll just send over the emulator file over to him. Sounds good, Joe. When are you guys free to play next? In all seriousness, I think I have to get my ear checked up after Joe's done playing. But I think I should be free to play tomorrow since my schedule is pretty open at the moment. Sounds good, and sorry about your ear. What about you, Joe? Same here. I'll be free after eating dinner tomorrow so we can play then. I'm excited to see how you navigate your way through Rock Tunnel without Flash Barack. How are you feeling about it? To be honest, nervous as hell. I haven't navigated through it without Flash yet, so I'll need your guys' help. That being said, I have to go now, too, but I will hit you guys up tomorrow when I'm free. Sounds good, Barack. Peace out. Peace out, boys, like always. We're one step closer to becoming Pokemon champs. Definitely. Peace out, y'all. Till next time.